A massive new wave of police violence against civilians was unleashed during last week. Triggering this controversial spate of violence was last Saturday's morning's march by the Interior Ministry's riot police as they headed towards Tahrir Square to disband a sit-in by the January 25th revolution victims. After two hours of skirmishes, the police managed to, dis to dislodge the picketers from the square. Undaunted, the protesters went back to the square, precipitating yet another assault by the police led by General Mohsen Morad, an aide of the Interior Minister. Fierce fighting between police forces and protesters lasted for almost five hours. Firing bullets over the protesters' heads and hurling tear gas canisters as scare tactics, the police finally managed to secure the square which remained calm for the rest of the night. On Sunday morning, thousands of people poured into Tahrir Square to demonstrate against police violence against protesters. A great number of demonstrators guarded in Mohammed Mahmoud Street, which leads to the Interior Ministry, chanting, The Interior Ministry are crooks. The Interior Ministry are thugs. In response to the swelling numbers of protesters, the police used tear gas as well as rubber and live bullets in a battle that went on until Wednesday evening, leaving 41 fatalities and over 400 injured. In a desperate bid to halt the bloodshed, the Azhar clerics stepped in, forming a human cordon between police and protesters. On Thursday, the number of protesters in Tahrir Square swelled even more, 
chanting a single chant. Down with the military. We, the people, set the limits. In the evening of the same day, the square reverberated with the rumor that Dr. Kamal El Gamzuri had been appointed as Prime Minister. This reignited the anger of the protesters, who were hoping to see a salvation government led by a revolutionary figure. In response to this desire, the protesters organized a million-man march, dubbed the Last Chance, in which they voiced a single demand. The removal and trial of the military council in favor of a salvation civilian government led by a key member of the revolution.